Hi guys, this is Moni from PTE Magic and in today's video we're going to go through the topic that concerns many of you which is pronunciation in PTE. But before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you can stay updated for more videos about PTE tips and tricks. Okay? So the questions that I've been receiving very often recently is that why my pronunciation is so low. Before I go further, uh, I just wanted to show you a score report of one of our students who received low score in pronunciation and he actually did the test at the beginning of this year. So this student only got 50 from pronunciation, uh, so his speaking was 68, however he was aiming for 79 all bands. So to find out why his pronunciation is so low, let's listen to the recording of him doing the read aloud at that time. Our phrase will be for walking, so we have to look spent million years to understand. At least humans walk between 10 and 20 kilometers a day instead of food. This is the situation in which early human brain developed into the same brain we have today. Movement gets plus in the brain bringing glucose and oxygen. Both glucose and oxygen is necessary for improving thinking and learning. So you probably noticed that the speed that he was speaking was a bit fast um, but that's not the main problem. The, the problem is that he was swallowing and um, omitting all the S sounds at the end of the words and also there was incorrect pronunciation of the words that contained two or three syllables because he was trying to rush uh, to speak so fast uh, even the words like necessary uh, the way he read it was like uh, necessary necessary or something if you play back you will notice that um, it was not quite clear and that means the computer wouldn't be able to catch the word that he was saying. However, once he improved his pronunciation and started to control the speed of his speech better um, with uh, correct pauses, his pronunciation has gone up substantially. This time his pronunciation is 87 and speaking is perfect 90. Uh, notice that his listening has also gone up to 82. Now let's listen to his voice this time. Our praise were built for walking, we have to look back millions of years to understand. Early humans walk between 10 and 20 kilometers a day instead of food. This is situation in which early humans' brains develop into the same brains we have today. Movements get plus to our brain bringing glucose and oxygen. Both glucose and oxygen are necessary for improving thinking and learning. Can you see the difference this time? So this time I can actually hear the S sounds at the end of the words as well as the clear pronunciation of the three syllable words. Of course there's still some flaws uh, in his pronunciation and he still mispronounced certain words. Uh, however, as I said many times before, you don't need to be perfect with perfect pronunciation in order to get a high score in uh, PTE speaking. And this is another example of our student who only got 56 in pronunciation in the first uh, test attempt. But once we fixed her speaking, her scores for reading and listening have also gone up by almost 20 points. Uh, another very popular question is that um, can I still get a high score? with the low pronunciation? And the answer is yes. Let's have a look at the examples from our students. The student only got 32, which is very low in pronunciation, but his speaking was 85. And this one only got 28, but 81 in speaking. And we have another student who scored 51 in pronunciation, but almost perfect score in speaking, which is 88. So for the last student, even though he only got 50 in pronunciation, but he still received uh, almost 90 in speaking. Let's listen to the recording of his read aloud. Akimbo, this must be one of the order looking words in the language and puzzles us in part because it doesn't seem to have any relatives. What's more, it's now virtually a fossil word until recently almost invariably found in arms Akimbo, a posture in which a person stands with hands on hips and elbows, subtly bent outward, one that signals impatient hostility or contempt. So as you can see, his pronunciation is far from perfect, uh, but he was able to make um, correct pauses and, and correct stresses on different words. 
And another very important aspect that might negatively affect your pronunciation is the way you position the microphone. So this was Nam's first test attempt and unfortunately during this time he was not able to check the microphone properly as well as didn't position the microphone correctly which led to the minimum pronunciation score of 10 and only 37 in speaking. But in the second test attempt, Nam managed to find a suitable uh, microphone position for himself and this time he scored 79 in pronunciation and 90 in speaking which is a perfect score. So in my next video, I'll be going through some tips uh, in positioning the microphone during the test. Um, but for now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!